What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W E, the Black. I'm back, and uh, I am not in a good mood. I'm not. I'm not in such a good mood that the moment I came home from work today, I said I got to record this, and I can't do nothing else. Like this got to be the first thing I do. When I walk into the house today, and lo and behold, I am. As you see, I'm wearing my uh, work shirt right now. But I want to take you back. I want to take you back to the Royal Rumble last year. And I want to take you back to that poster. If you remember, the poster for the World Rumble it had a ton of WWE superstars on it but also on that poster I think it was a blue background but also on that poster was a blue lightning and we all know what lightning in WWE represents the most electrifying man in all the sports entertainment Dwayne The Rock Johnson and we know that last year's Wrestlemania was where it was in Hollywood it was in Hollywood California or Los Angeles California whatever and we're like it just makes so much sense the WWE is telling us they're hinting at the rock right here Wrestlemania is in Hollywood it makes too much sense we're getting the rock in Roman Reigns at WrestleMania this year, a lot of people had The Rock coming back and winning the Royal Rumble, but that did not happen. It was, in fact, Cody Rhodes who won the Royal Rumble, and he won it at the number 30 spot, which was a bad choice, by the way. But he won the Royal Rumble nonetheless. And then we all know what happened with the bloodline situation and Sami Zayn. Fast forward, as we know, the match did not happen. And why did the match not happen? Well, The Rock said, I don't have enough time to get into shape. Remember that line. Remember that. And I believe he might have said it before the Royal Rumble, but I definitely remember it being said around that time that, the Rock said he couldn't get back into ring shape in time, so he it, it, he wasn't going to be there. And of course, us being wrestling fans, we won't believe nothing you say because we think you're just trying to swerve us, trying to throw us off the set, per se, right? So, WrestleMania comes and goes, and we have Cody Rhodes, and he's trying to finish the story. The very thing we've known about since Cody Rhodes had returned to the WWE two years ago when his first promo on Raw was talking about how he wanted to win the title that eluded his father, that eluded his father, the title that was taken from him, the title that he never had a chance to win, how he was going to take that title, how it was his dream to take that title and let his father hold and say, Dad, I won this for you, but... Unfortunately, Dash Dusty passed away, so he was going to take it to the grave and be like, Dad, I won this for you, which makes the story even more sad and heartfelt at the same time, pulling on the heartstrings. So we get to WrestleMania, and Cody's got his wife there. He's got his daughter there. His mom's there. I think he had some friends there. Oh, and he had Brody Lee's son there. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, there's no way. Cody Rhodes is winning tonight. The Usos lost last night. It's happening here tonight. It's going down. Solo comes out to the ring with Roman Reigns. He gets ejected. The Usos come in and jump Cody Rhodes. But Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come in and they interfere. St uh, uh, Roman Reigns gets stone cold. He, I was about to say get Stone Cold Center. He gets a stunner from Kevin Owens. He gets a haluva kick from Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes is going to do it. He's going to finish the story. Crossroads number one. Crossroads number two. But then Paul Heyman gets on the ropes. Cody Rhodes backs up. Solo Sokoa's back. Samoan Spike. One, 
two, three. Oh, I was so heartbroken. I was so heartbroken. I was like, no, no. And the match was great. I was like, no, you did everything you had to do. It was there. Why didn't Cody win? Oh, a thousand days. It's right there. We need Roman to get it. We need to update the resume. Why? He's already been the most modern WWE superstar of all time in the modern era. Over 900 days? Does it really matter if he gets to a thousand? Well, it's right there. He's got to get it, right? Right? That's what they said. So Cody loses. And everyone was convinced it was the right move. Oh, Cody didn't suffer enough. Cody didn't do this. He has to go through some adversity, is what the people said. Okay. So, I'm thinking he's going to have like a 2012 John Cena. He's going to have himself a down year. His first opponent is Brock Lesnar. Nope. He beat Brock. But then after he beat Brock, he feuded with the Judgment Day. Then after he feuded with the Judgment Day, he feuded with Shinsuke Nakamura. And it's just like, well, he didn't really suffer, and he's beating all these people, and he's doing everything you want him to do, and he's being the guy in the ring, out the ring, doing the media, doing the press, doing the uh, charity work, he's doing all this stuff, he's what you've been looking for in a baby face for years, it's time to reward him, and how do we do that? Cody Rhodes wins! The 2024 Royal Rumble. And we're like, okay, he's going to finish the story. He's going to do it. Y'all remember that commercial from a couple years ago with the kids in the snow and the kids running? He's like, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. That was us with, Ro with Cody Rhodes. He's going to do it. Y'all remember last year when Cody Rhodes and, 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 and Jey Uso were the... Uh, the tag team champions, the undisputed tag team champions, and then they had that face down, stare down with the bloodline, and Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns came face to face for the first time in months, and you felt the chills down your spine. You had goosebumps on your arms, and you're like, oh, 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 oh I can't wait. And you're like, yo, I think this is the first time they done seen each other since after Mania, bro. You got goosebumps, you're like, yo, I'm ready. Cody finna finish the story, bro. And then last night happened. Whoa, whoa, wait. Well, let's get to Raw before. So we get to Raw this past Monday. And Cody is about to make his decision. But Seth Rollins comes out. And he stops him and he says, Cody, you can't face Roman Reigns. You have to choose me. Because Roman Reigns isn't the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the I'm the people's champion. I'm the defending champion. I'm the workhorse champion. Roman Reigns is never here. Choose me, not him. Cody says, okay, you know what? I'll think about it. Now we get to last night. Roman Reigns comes out totally dis like discs. Dis uh 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 Seth Rollins. He 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 disses the world heavyweight championship. He disses Seth Rollins. He says the fact that he's like, hey, yo, I work 10 times as less as you, and yet I make 10 times more money. And look, nothing Roman said yesterday was technically wrong. Everything he said was right. Like, no matter what Seth Rollins does or what the WWE does or wants to make you think, the World Heavyweight Championship is always going to be viewed as the consolation prize. Because Roman's not here, so we need something for the other people, to, for the other superstars to fight for. So here's the World Heavyweight Championship. I said it the moment they revealed it. I said, oh, so this is a consolation prize. This is for who's second best. Nobody can beat Roman. Nobody can take the title of Roman, so we'll make a whole new title. Like, I, we've known this. Like, no matter what Seth does. And Seth's been putting on banger after banger after banger. And, yeah, I see what you did there, Sheamus. And it doesn't matter. Because Roman Reigns has that aura. Because Roman Reigns has the title reign. Because Roman Reigns has been champion for over 1,251 days. It does not matter what Seth Rollins does. He'll always be second fiddle to Roman Reigns. And so basically he ends it like this. He says, yo, look, Cody, I'm not going to beg you like the other guy did. If you want to be known as the second best guy, then go after him. 
But if you want to, but if you want to crack at number one again, come at your boy. And again, nothing he said was wrong. Nothing he said was a lie. But he did bury Seth in the World Heavyweight Champion. He basically said, "Yo, they're number two to me. No matter what they do, no matter who beats them, no matter what happens with that title, I'm the guy, not that guy." So Cody comes out. He says, I want you. I want you. I want everything you have. I want to take everything you have. I'm going to take that title. That's the title. That's the title that I want. That's the title that my father never got to hold. That's the same title that Bruno has held. That Hogan has held. That Austin has held. That's the title that you've held. That's the, but that's the title that my father never held. That was taken from him in Madison Square Garden. That is the title that I want. And I'm coming for you. And I'm going to take everything from you. But not at WrestleMania. And I said, wait, hold on. What? What are you saying? What is that? Not at WrestleMania? What does that mean? Then he says he's been taking on some special counseling and getting some advice from people and that one of the people he's been taking advice from knows Roman very well and then it happens if you smell the rock is here and I said the moment that happened he said someone you knows very well I said oh I know what's happened I said oh no oh no and then the rock music hit and I said, oh, no. Oh, no. And then he comes down to the ring. And you just see the look on Cody's face. You see his body language. And it's just like, that's a broken man. That is a broken man right there. And no words were spoken. As Cody leaves the ring, Roman and The Rock get face to face. And then we fade to black. And I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking to myself, all I keep saying is, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Like obviously the crowd is hyped to see The Rock, so it's, it's not internally grasping for them what's happening. People online are sitting there watching this and they're reacting and they're not fully grasping. But I'm one of the few who did grasp it because there were some. And I'm just sitting here and I'm going, so wait a minute. Cody wins the Royal Rumble, says he wants Roman, but not at WrestleMania, but he gives his opportunity to The Rock? Why would you even go to The Rock? Now look, I, did want to see The Rock versus Roman Reigns. I did. That is an absolute dream match. One of the few dream matches left that can actually still happen. Right? But not this way. Not this way where you basically just told the guy, the real guy, that, hey, everything you've done over the past two years, thanks, but... We're going to hand it to this guy now because he's the bigger draw. Because he's the bigger star. No, 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 no. No, no. They would never, ever do this to John Cena. They would never do this to Shawn Michaels. They would have never done this to Stone Cold Steve Austin. God forbid they would never have did it to Hulk Hogan. But you did it to Cody Rhodes, who has been nothing but a godsend for the WWE since he's been back. And this is how you thank him. This is how you reward him. Oh, Lord. So, why did this happen? Well... I think a couple things factor in. Number one, the injuries. You gotta think back to a couple weeks ago, Seth Rollins got hurt. Now, I don't know if he'll make it to WrestleMania. I think that's what the assumption is, but that put the Jeopardy in doubt. 
Then CM Punk got actually hurt. He's out. He's missing WrestleMania. Then everything with the Vince situation, bad PR for the company, right? Plus, Brock Lesnar was involved in that, so Brock's out now. So, right there, that's two matches, two highly key matches that are off this WrestleMania. Seth and Punk, Brock and Gunther. That's it. That is it. Let's not forget that earlier, I want to say it was either earlier this year or late last year, Charlotte got hurt. She's missing WrestleMania. Remember, the plan was for her and Bianca to go at it at WrestleMania. Now, you can switch that up with Bianca now and Jay, so that's still good. But it's like, how could you do this to the man? Why would you do this to the man? What WWE did last night is they buried Seth Rollins. They buried the World Heavyweight Championship. But more importantly than that, they buried Cody Rhodes. The most travesty of them all. Again, no matter what you say or think, Seth Rollins was always second fiddle to Roman Reigns and nothing was ever going to change that. Seth Rollins could have been putting on five-star matches and classics that people will watch to the end of time. He was never going to be more important than Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has that aura. Roman Reigns feels different, right? Seth Rollins is just, oh, man, that's a great guy, great worker. He's doing everything he can, right? So now... I forgot to mention, as it was fading, to, as the screen was fading to black, they had at the bottom of the screen that there's going to be a WrestleMania uh, kickoff press conference in Las Vegas this coming up Thursday. So, and I'm hearing that that's where they'll make it official that it'll be Roman Reigns and The Rock. And that just makes me sick to my stomach. I didn't think I could ever hate or be mad at The Rock, but man, I'm sick to my stomach right now. This is why Cody Rhodes should have won at WrestleMania last year. Because everyone said, oh, he needed more adversity. He can't just come in and win it. No, 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 he can't do that. He needs to get to a thousand days. Look at where we are now. WrestleMania 40 will be even bigger. He's going to finish the story for real. Oh, but The Rock's here now. The Rock is here now. He says he's ready now. He says he wants to do it now. Apparently now he has time to get in the, get in, in the ring shape now. Which is around the same time last year when he said he couldn't get in the ring shape. You see the problem here? Last year, this time, he said, oh, I can't get in the ring shape. I ain't got enough time. Now, we're past the Royal Rumble, and apparently he can get in the ring shape. People were saying that The Rock was breathing heavy just from going at it with Jinder Mahal a couple weeks ago on Raw. I didn't see it. I tried to go back and see it. Maybe I need to get my glasses fixed, but if everyone's saying they can see it, then okay. This is just... This is This is horrible. Basically, not only did the matter of fact, not only did WWE screw Cody Rhodes, but they skewed they screwed Seth Rollins too because they said you and Drew that's not good enough, you and Gunther that's not good enough, Cody and Roman that's not good enough. We need something else. We need The Rock and Roman Reigns. That's what's going to be enough. What? 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 Oh, Lord. So now we got two wrestling promotions that don't know what they're doing. Tony Khan don't know what he's doing. AEW losing people left and right. They ain't getting no views. Hardly anybody at the shows. And WWE just blew up their biggest baby face by saying, they just told him, you're not good enough.
This is insane. This is really insane. I never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. So what happens with Cody now? Well, now apparently the rumor is that he'll face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. And here's the problem, though. He can't lose, right? Like, he can't lose. Like, because then he loses, he loses even more momentum, right? So now he's going to beat Seth, take the world title off of him, and then apparently the rumor is that he'll go into SummerSlam and face either The Rock or Roman Reigns and then unify the titles. So then we're going to go right back to where we were before last year? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. What? And then, here's the even more kicker. Hulk Hogan, I was already skeptical about if Cody was going to finish the story this year at WrestleMania or not anyway. Because now everyone's been bringing up the Hulk Hogan record. Hulk Hogan record is just a few months away. <laughs> you, see, you see why that sounds familiar? That's exactly the same thing they said when it was for a thousand days. Oh, oh, oh the thousand days, it's, it's just a couple weeks away. It's right there. We can do it. We can get there. He got to get there. So you mean to tell me that if Roman Reigns beats The Rock, and he will beat The Rock, Rock's not coming in here and winning. So you're telling me that then Cody and Roman are going to have a match at SummerSlam, and I'm just going to expect that Roman is going to lose to Cody at SummerSlam when literally the next month is Hulk Hogan's record. Nah. 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 You not finna fool me, bro. You not finna fool me. You not finna fool me. Nope, sorry. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no, sorry. So now what? That means since he won't be losing, that means Roman's taking the title. It's a next year's WrestleMania. And you can't have Cody win three straight Royal Rumbles. So, <laughs> what? The heck are we doing? You blew it, WWE. You blew it. You had a chance to have a face of a company for the next five, maybe ten years. Cody Rhodes is what? 38? So maybe five, six, seven. But you had at least guaranteed five years with Cody Rhodes. Now, now you're stuck with Roman Reigns. Now we're stuck. Maybe, maybe Braun Breaker, maybe Carmelo Hayes, God forbid, maybe Trick Williams. Oh, I would love that, actually. Whoop, that trick, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, man, this is... <sighs> I feel so bad for Cody, man. Like I said, you could see the look on his face last night when The Rock got in the ring. That man was so deflated. That man was so heartbroken. I just... How could you ever believe anything WWE tells me now? How could you ever believe anything Triple H says now? Hmm? How could you ever, ever trust them again? Because they straight lied to my face. They said, you're going to get it next year at WrestleMania. I know it looks like it. you should win this year, but you're not. <clears throat> We're going to do the Dusty Star page thing. Oh, okay, all right, we'll do that. Are you sure? I, I, I don't know if people really want to wait that long. Yo, people are impatient these days. No, no, trust me, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. And God forbid it worked. It actually worked. Cody Rhodes is more popular now than he was last year. They did it. <laughs> this year, Cody, you're winning the World Rumble. You're going to finish the story. All right. Oh, wait. The Rock's here now. He wants it, so we're going to give it to him. Wait, wait, wait. But you told me I was finishing the story. Yeah, I know what we said, but now this is happening. So, um, yeah, you can have Seth. You can have Seth. Honestly, honestly, even if it is Seth and Cody, like, Again, you're in a lose-lose situation. That's not the title Cody wants, so he doesn't finish the story. Seth <coughs> is...
he's gonna look like a chump. I, this whole thing is a mess. It's a mess. Oh my lord. Uh, oh man. This WrestleMania went from could have been possibly the greatest WrestleMania of all time to now absolutely one of the worst. And I apologize to every other single WWE superstar, but blame The Rock, blame TKO. They they did this because apparently The Rock pushed for this. He said he wanted it and that he's pushed he pushed for this and he said that the company needs this right now for and it's the bigger match and the bigger draw and again it's not like we didn't want a match i wanted to see the match you could have did the match i thought they were going to do the match at a uh, 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 elimination chamber but nope i don't know man I've already been 26 minutes, man. I'm, 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 I'm finished, man. Just let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below of all this, man. Because this is ridiculous. I, I, I feel so bad for Cody. Like, I feel like someone lied to me and slapped me in the face, bro. You done told me for a year. Y'all have me building up anticipating this is going to happen. Cody's going to finish the story. And now it turns off we in a whole different book now. We, we not even going to finish the story that we even started reading. We we y'all just threw that book away and started a whole new book, bruh. What? What? That's ridiculous, man. Oh my gosh. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Um, I'll leave a link to my new podcast in the description box below. Uh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, first, the Super Bowl got ruined for me with the garbage Kansas City Chiefs facing off against the 49ers. Who the heck cares? And now Cody Rhodes gets his spot taken from him. From I'm so disappointed in you, Rocky. I'm so disappointed in you. I, I defended you in in, in in for 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 uh 28 against John Cena. I defended you and said, nah, the Rock ain't been here in like eight nine. He ain't wrestled in like eight years at that time. You know, it's big. It's his first match back. He 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 deserves it. I understand why it's the main event. 29, not so much. At the very least, it could have been a triple threat. Should have been a triple threat. And now it is, you done took it from Cody Rhodes, man, and then had the audacity to hug that man in the ring, bro. Oh. Man. Anyway, let me know in the comment section down below, like I said. Until next time, we, we just got to see where this goes, man. We really got to see. Uh, it don't matter. It, whatever they choose, I ain't going to like it. So, I mean, unless they figure out a way to give Cody his spot back. But apparently, I, I just don't see it happening, so. Till next time, and if you're not done with that, I've just got two words for you. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.